What does the stem note sell? 92.8 kilometer road race and it's a point to point race from Haywood to Custodon. Look for opportunities to get out the road, uh, depending, see what the vibe is, see if, who's controlling and play it. Small neutral, there's no feeding whatsoever today. So take what you need at the start, you can't get anything from the car, you can't get anything from the side of the road. Yeah, we'll put the coffee ones in there. Proved myself and go a bit better than yesterday. Also, try and see if we can get Junior up in the breakaway. Get him a couple of KOM points. I think he needs a bit of money now, so... <laughs> Stage four, we've crossed the border from South Australia into Haywood for the 93 kilometres from here to Casterton. It's the hilliest stage and therefore the queen stage of this year's race. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be really interesting. k's in uh, we had a breakaway there of just uh, six riders Angus Cold was representing us um, the pace is on in the peloton so it may get caught we're not sure uh, there's been a few crashes but no one involving the neuro team which is which is good um, a lot of inex inexperienced riders out on the road today and you know the NRS is catching them out I think
Jones on two chasing riders, 1, 2, 2 and 87. And from the leaders to the peloton is 2 minutes 58. The closing stage is now two riders off the front. This was Chris Miller from Neuro KOM Financial Racing. It's in the, back, in the uh, second position, the 36-year-old from New South Wales. Fairly new to the National Road Series, but certainly leaving a dent. Very strong rider, time trial specialist. And he's joined by Sam Hill from Phoenix Cycling Collective. He was second on stage two, rode very well. The day that Aiden Tuvey took the overall race lead, he and Sam Hill combined very well. And then in the crosswinds of stage three, Hill was really brought undone. Riding poor position, he's not a big fan of the crosswinds and fighting for position, so he lost a lot of time and that put him down to nine minutes and 24 seconds behind Aiden Tuvey in the overall classification. Chris Miller from Nero, he's at 6.56 in the overall class. So both these riders are not that dangerous in terms of the overall classification. So Ben along Swiss Wellness did go to the front of the peloton just to control things. You can just see the beautiful countryside here on the roads to Casterton. Haywood to Casterton, stage four of through the Great South Coast. They've got a three minute gap. Now we've only got 15K to go in the race, so um, they could hold it. The peloton is chasing. Ben along are driving it quite hard at the front. Uh, whether they can regain three minutes with these crosswinds, I'm not sure. So, and some KOM points. Yeah, so Chris has got some KOM points, which is um, which will make his day. Um, and yeah, so three minutes. It's it's touch and go. There's only well, there's 14 k's to go now in the race. So we're we're counting them down. We're on the home straight now. We're out of the hills, and it's just a flat run home. So. comes at 400 metres from the finish. It's an uphill sprint. This is the final little hill here. So nice little launching pad. If anyone has anything left in the legs, this is the place to go. It's the last hill before the finish. Jason Thomason sitting on the back here, number 122. Van Dam Racing, they haven't won a race in the National Road Series. An attack from Bert, Patrick Bert from Drapak, just trying to test the legs of the other riders, Sam Hill, quickly onto the wheel though. Having some troubles at the back here, Chris Miller, really starting to struggle, it's been a long day out there for him. So Bert went first, over the top now though, Jason Thomason, attacking over the top of the Drapak rider, Sam Hill, still keeping himself in the mix, one kilometre to go. A thousand metres now, slight lead. Thomason just out in front. Look over the shoulder from Patrick Burt. That was the sign that he's starting to struggle and now the gap is starting to stretch. This is the last downhill section. Clearly it's going to be enough now. Jason Thomason, look over the shoulder. Still it's uphill, he's trying to get to the line. They're coming at him. Sam Hill coming from behind. Patrick Burt from Drapak in the green. Just gone over the side of him. But he's going to hold on. Jason Thomason from Dan, Van Dam Racing takes out stage four of the Tour of the Great South Coast. The first for his team. Yeah, that's right. Fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, I was at fifteen and twenty minutes. I did the. I tried you to do the work, turn into the high. thing, but oh, I was. I was. <laughs> oh, I played my cards, thinking one. Van Dam guy. Because sort of, he actually did a lot of the work to bridge them across, and I thought, oh, maybe he'd be out of gas the most. And I knew that climb was there. When it kind of opened up into that wind, Cam Robert said to me before the race, he said, when at 45 k's onwards, it'll hit the winds, and that's when you need to be in the, involved. And we were, and uh, followed Sammy Hill. As Angus has done on many occasions, it's a good wheel to follow. It just means it's followed by a lot of pain normally. Uh, but he's such a good rider to ride a break with because he's like, come on, we can do this, get over this hill, you get to that crest. So he's awesome from that perspective. Oh mate, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I just was thinking like, yeah, anyway, good stuff lads. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Mate, he's pretty strong. Yeah, he's helped us out a lot. Yeah, okay. Well, what's he like to travel with? Oh, 
Yeah. It's as weird as they say. It's weird as they say. What? It's pretty normal. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> So bike racing is all good and well, but the real trick with these events, right, is the accommodation. So the accommodation, which I don't know how people did before Airbnb, but the best part is the complete lottery that happens when you walk into an Airbnb, which is how many beds and rooms does it actually have? Because they do list them, but that can sometimes be, well, like a yoga retreat somewhere in Kingscliff, uh, fictional. So we're going to head... Ooh. So the current surrounds are, uh, this is slightly concerning, here we go, <clears throat> seemingly there is the kitchen, uh, we are currently in the 1950s, uh, the stove, we might be eating out, ah now floor space looks good, large heater over here by the looks which is going to play a role because it's friggin bunk life. Bunk life. A bunk is brilliant for Airbnb stuff because you can pile a few bodies in there. We have seven riders uh, and three helpers. So we have ten people. We will now divide it up. It normally goes on either age, uh, GC standing. The GC standing. Uh, FTP tests can often also be a, a reason. Um, FTP, I and who votes for Chris? Who votes for Chris in the yellow We're jersey? Chris might be up for a yellow jersey tonight. <laughs> We're pretty excited about this. I will show you this. We do like a vote every night about yeah, who's, um, who was the best rider. Well, who's like did a good team performance? Uh, and there's a chicken coop. I think there's a chicken coop. I think there's a chicken coop. I don't think there are chickens. We have coop facilities though, if we want to get some chickens and coop them. So all in all, uh, this is a bit of a sh but the good thing is that it has lots of beds. So normally I would take beds over actual like niceness, if that a, makes sense to you. Because at the end of the day, really all you here to do is like eat and sleep. Luke, how are we looking? Uh, singles, singles, double, bunks, singles, doubles, lounge room singles, mattresses, sheets. I don't know, it's going to be tough. So we might need to have a chat off camera. Off chat, off, off camera. We've got a bit of tension in our bedroom with Taj and Chris Powell because, um... Chris Powell's come in first and taken the double bed and then Taj isn't having a bar of it and has moved all of his stuff up to the top bunk. Well, I believe first in best dress. Sorry, Taj, but I reckon Chris Powell should have it. I don't think anyone else agrees with me, but yes. Okay, so here's my little rant for the day. I'm gonna do one of those sad things that Chris always does on the vlog, and he sits here, and I'm currently sitting in the in the driveway um, of yeah, Acom. So normally Chris is in his house and he's scratching his head. I'm in the driveway. I'm gonna do one of these sad things. I'm just gonna put the facials on. See, yesterday, like I thought I did what I he does his hands. I thought. I would get the yellow jersey. I really pushed it, like I even went back to the team car, lubed my own chain while racing in the NRS, and got back into the race. Plus, helped little Sammy out for the young riders class. Um, get, gave him a good lead out and the, the kid cannot sprint. He can't sprint. He's very, very funny to watch. Just have the Porsche is there. That's that's all for the stage today or something. Do we get no idea what day it is? 
Lucky you can end the show. But that's it for today's stage. Moving on to tomorrow's stage, which is 120 kilometers. Gonna get most aggressive out there tomorrow. Um, follow me. Um, so tonight I'll be um. Oh, see you in the morning. I'm sleeping in the morning.